San Diego Made, San Diego Proud. I'm Carrie Lane. Okay, ready or not, swimsuit season is just around the corner. Now, some of you may be looking to shed a few extra pounds before you hit the beach, and maybe you've already tried a variety of different diets, but none of them really seem to be working for you. Don't give up yet. Dr. Julie Elner from Alvarado Hospital is providing us this morning with hope. Good morning. Good morning. Okay, so there's different uh, solutions to losing weight besides dieting, which we'll get to those ideas in just a second. But first, start off with why do diets fail? Well, diets fail for the patients who have more significant weight problems because the problem is really largely genetic. Much of the medical research has shown an 80% contribution of genes goes toward what body size we are. So the patients with serious weight problems are really uh, struggling with genetics more than lifestyle issues. And their diets are frustrating, but there are other options. And what are some of those? Largely surgery. The uh, obesity problem in the United States has really been found to be a surgical problem. That seems to be the best treatment for patients with 80 or 90 or more pounds to lose. One of the most common misconceptions about the surgical options are that they all work the same. Some of the most uh, common questions that people ask me are what really are the differences between the different operations? And what are those differences? The most popular operations are the gastric bypass and the gastric banding. The band provides great portion control. It gives you a small little stomach so you feel full on a small amount of food. What people really like about the band is that it's adjustable. So we get to adjust based on the patient's weight loss, the patient's lifestyle. The gastric bypass provides the same portion control, the same full feeling on a small amount of food, but it goes one step further. It provides hormonal control. It suppresses a patient's hormonal appetite, but it also has a stronger tendency to shut down problems like hypertension, diabetes, generally within 48 hours. Interesting. Okay, now you shared with us a couple success stories last time, and that's just two of the many. You also have two more for us today. This is a really neat story. Marty and Amanda are my latest father-daughter duo. I operate on a lot of families. Amanda came to me a few years ago. She was close to 300 pounds, and she was 19, but she felt like an old woman because her, her joints hurt constantly. She was really struggling with joint pain, and she was a young woman and, and really just kind of felt like life was passing her by. So she came to me without telling her parents. She researched gastric bypass and decided that that was right for her. Then she brought her parents on board. They were very, very supportive of her, so she had gastric bypass surgery. And now, three years later, she's kept about 160 pounds off. Her father, Marty, behind the scenes, watched her success and then came forward about a year ago, had the gastric band, and he was over 300, 300 pounds and has lost about 80 pounds with the gastric band. The transformation is incredible. Now, obviously, having surgery is a big decision, and there's a lot of questions that come with it. You have a seminar that will not only help educate the public, but allow people to ask the questions. Tell us a little bit about That's that. That's right. The seminar takes place next Thursday on May 17th at Alvarado Hospital at 6 p.m. It's just a great way to get a lot of information all at once. It's a, it's a real informal scenario. A lot of the patients who have had the surgery come forward at the end of the seminar to take more personal questions from people who are interested in learning more more about it. It's always great to be able to talk to those that have been in your shoes. That's right. And Amanda will be there. Great. Okay. Well, thank you so much for this insight again this Thursday at 6 o'clock at Alvarado Hospital. Is there a website if people have more information or yes. want more information? Yes. They can look at the alvaradohospital.com website or my website, elnerbariatric.com. Dr. Elner, thank you so much for joining us. And swimsuit season is just around the corner. <laughs> now it's a little more promising. <laughs> All right. And thank you so much for joining us. That's this week's Standing Omade, Standing Proud.